Hello, I've got a little studio tip for you that you can take out on your traveling as well, maybe over the holiday period. If you've ever wanted one of those nifty little watercolor pan sets, but didn't get around to buying one, well, here's a quick way to make one. Maybe you're already on holiday and you can pick one of these up at a local store very cheaply. I'll show you how it works. Okay, here's an inexpensive tip for making a pan set for your watercolors. If you've got tube watercolors like this and you want to transport them around ready to use very quickly. Or maybe you want to use your gouache paint and put them in pans like this. Well, this is in fact a pull organizer to put your pulls in, but I'm not using it for that. I'm going to use it as a pan set for watercolors in these tubes and it's very inexpensive. This costs about two dollars and we're going to give it a try. So let's open that up. We don't need that and you can see you can open these compartments and they make nice little pans and they seal quite tight as well. You can also take it apart like that if you want to have a very small set or a small set like that. And they clip together quite easily again so there you go. Let's put a few colors in and some permanent red squeeze that in. You can put in a lot of paint if you want and store it in here. You would be able to re... it wouldn't remain wet forever of course, it would dry up. You may be able to reactivate it and use it again or especially with gouache as well that's not a problem. Well, of course you could put your watercolor pans in there if they fit all right, that wouldn't be a problem. But if you're going on a small trip, for instance, this is a quick way to put your paints out, ready to use, and take the set with you, and then you're in business. And you can just wet your paints. If you've got a mixing tray like this or any convenient surface, could be a saucer or a plate, that might do the trick as well. It really costs very little. And there you go. You're and when you're done with your painting, just close them up. and they seal tight as well. And if you want, you can clean up the lids, which I've done, and to just remove the lettering and make it more into something that I want. Sometimes you can just spot these little things in a shop somewhere and you realize it's a solution for your painting studio as well and it can save you a lot of money. So happy painting over these holidays and uh, we'll see you again soon. Cheers for now.